Today I will be sharing with you my top best setting powders for oily skin. These powders make you look poreless, flawless, airbrush, not cakey, just beautiful. I will also be doing a video sharing with you my favorite foundations for oily skin. I definitely have to do an updated video on that. Before we get started, if you're new, welcome. My name is Jen, Jen's Beauty Style, and let's go ahead and get started. By the way, if you have a favorite setting powder, let me know down in the comments. I would love to check it out and hear your opinion. Here we have the one from It Cosmetics. I have to start with this one. I've mentioned it so much. I use it so much. This is what it looks like. They do have several, but this is the pressed powder. And this is the Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder in Translucent. Some that I have here come in several shades. Some are just simply translucent. This is a brand new one. I can't tell you how many of these I have bought. It just looks stunning. When it says airbrush, it really looks airbrush. You do not look cakey. It does not wash me out. This is what it looks like when you blend it. Like it completely disappears. I believe this one is talc free. I highly, highly recommend this one. I always have to have this one in my collection. It does help to keep me matte longer as well. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter Powder. Now this is a waterproof setting powder. I don't know if it's waterproof. All I know is that it's beautiful. I literally just opened this one up because I had two backups. If you see, this is a huge difference in color wise, though this is the only color that this one comes in. See, if I swatch it, this is what it looks like. So yes, it can look pretty dark, but if I swatch it, that's what it looks like. If you see, it's not really adding too much color. It will add a little tiny bit, especially if you're as fair as me. It's just the packaging is to die for. I love a lot of things of this line from Urban Decay. Their foundation, their powder. Oh my god, I can't remember right now. I love this one, especially if I have a foundation that's a bit too light for me. I love to apply this one. But and this one, you put it on and it looks like your pores disappear, your fine lines. It's not messy because it's a pressed powder. The only thing is that maybe this will be a little bit too dark for you. But like I said, I've used this in many tutorials. It doesn't come out as dark, but there you go beautiful i have very large pores oily skin and this definitely helps me stay matte they all make my foundation look so much prettier when i put these powders on top not looking cakey and i love to apply them with a flat top kabuki brush this one i think the packaging changed but it's still the same one this is by Too faced this is the poreless skin smoothing pressed powder this packaging was really nice but i think they just upgraded it uh this one i also have a backup of it is the only color that it comes in well this is what it looks like just keep that in mind but once you blend these it disappears this one may wash you out just a little depending how your foundation looks a really good one i love that it's pressed and again your pores look really nice don't go too heavy with this one the good things about i believe is the peach one is it from the peach collection i don't know but i i don't know if that's a loose powder newest one is this one now this is not my favorite shade but the formula this is a must have this is by charlotte tilbury this is their airbrush setting powder this one is in medium they just came out with this mini size okay i don't know if it's limited edition i definitely want to get the big one because you get more for your money but if you just want to try it out i will leave all of these down below this one again is in medium it is a little bit dark for me I do have the fair i believe this comes in three shades i do think that the fair would be better just so it doesn't mess up the color of my foundation formula wise this is so good again it's called airbrush it literally airbrushes your face it looks so pretty if you have a foundation that you love you will not understand how much more beautiful it will look after you apply this powder touch up during the day too especially like this small size 
you have to try this one. It's really good and none of these break me out. I'll show you one loose powder, okay? I just have to. This is by Hourglass. This is the Translucent Veil Setting Powder. I love the Mineral Veil Primer. For oily skin, you have to try that primer. Yes, it's expensive. They do have a small size if you just want to try it. But your pores, your skin, like that base that you will have before you start applying your makeup. Wow, it's just insane. Worth the money. So I really like this one. This works great like for under the eyes, to set under the eyes, for your whole face only, your T-zone. It's beautiful. I don't know if they have like a pressed powder. I don't know. I probably would have gotten it already. I really don't think they do. Maybe they do, but it's not matte. I don't know. Let me know if you know. If you like loose powders, I would definitely recommend this one. It's so finely milled. It's beautiful. It doesn't go chalky or heavy. You don't want that look. Next to I have is Drugstore. If you love Drugstore, okay? First, I want to mention this one is by Physicians Formula. Now, I think this comes like in two shades, translucent, and I forgot what the other color is called. I always try to get translucent. Now, this one has SPF in it, so it will give you a white cast just a little, so keep that in mind. I don't really care. Sometimes my foundations are a bit dark on me, so I love applying this powder. With this one, do not go heavy. It will start looking like chalky, but just like if you just do one light layer, that's all you need, and it looks so good. This is how it looks like if I swatch it. Of course, if I blend it, they all completely disappear. Like, you can't tell that I did any swatches. Well, that's what you want, right? You don't want your powder to look like a different color. Or maybe you do, I don't know, to like fix the color of your foundation. Or if you're only putting this on and not like makeup, maybe you want that. But this is a beautiful powder and I love that it has SPF on it. I definitely would not just use this as SPF, definitely not. But for touch-ups and all, beautiful. As you see, a lot of them have the name Airbrush on it because that's exactly how it will make your face look. This one is by e.l.f. As you see, it's really cute. It's pink. Now this one is called Matte Blotting Powder. You can use it to blot your face, but also to set your face. There's no reason you would only use it to blot, but it's beautiful. And this is for the oily skin line. I think they have one like a hydrating line, I think, or for dry skin. But you can read. They have a lot on this collection. I was so impressed the first time I used this. I do have a video reviewing it. You can check um, these. I know this one, I have a video just so you can see what they actually look on if this is not like enough. I have reviews on most of those or if you want me to do a specific review so you can see how it actually looks. But I have several makeup tutorials on my channel. I always use different products so check it out. This one is beautiful. Elf and for the price, so good. I go overboard with this one. It can look a bit heavy chalky. I do have a lot more powders, which I will be doing a setting powder declutter video for my must-haves for oily skin. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to let me know in the comments which is your favorite powders, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!